We're gonna give it a minute, okay? Let it load. Load them up, load them up. You girls excited? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't done this before. I'm, let's give it a minute. Make sure we have everything. Is someone gonna pop up? No, it's just us. What's up, guys? It's wind down Friday. I almost said Wednesday. But who's looking at the day of the week anyway? I am so excited that it is the freaking weekend. And the cookbook comes out in three, four days. I'm so excited. Tuesday, September 22nd. And so I just wanted to get on here and cook with you guys. I feel like when you're doing um, like appearances on TV and things like that, sometimes they can be rushed. And so I love getting on here and doing the demos for you guys firsthand so you can see the actual process. Um, and I think we're gonna have some fun. Uh, I don't know if you guys uh, put your playlists on, but we have, from Sweet July, we have a Spotify account and we put playlists up all the time. So we made a Wind Down Friday Spotify playlist, not an ad by the way. Um, so you guys can play that and vibe out if you want while we cook. Um, the girls are obviously in the kitchen with me. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Um, and we're just gonna have some fun. So we're making Caribbean lobster rolls. It's delicious. Yeah, let's get started. <laughs> and again, if, um, if you don't wanna use lobster or don't have access to lobster, Crab meat works great. Um, it's readily available now at the grocery stores in the refrigerated section, oddly enough. Um, little bay shrimp work. Oh, thank you, Riley. Little bay shrimp work as well. Um, and again, uh, in my story, I said if you're vegan, um, there are so many substitutions you can make to adjust this recipe for it to suit your needs. So like jackfruit, portobello mushrooms in place of the seafood, and then using, instead of the mayonnaise, like a veginase or a vegan alternative, but everything else in this recipe will work. Um, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with our lobster mixture so that we can let it chill for a little bit while we make our cocktails and I'll answer some questions. But, oh, I should probably hold it up. Here's the book, you guys. I'm so excited. It's so funny, it's like birthing a baby. So this is technically what, my fifth baby. And I'm so excited. Um, put my heart into this. The whole team did. Um, why I love it so much is because it's a perfect representation of my life right now, as I'm sure many of yours, just chaos. Um, and the goal these days for me is to just get the meal on the table. Um, more importantly so around dinner time. I love getting the family around the table and having conversations. I'm excited. I'm excited I'm too. I'm so excited. And um, you know, that's where you build your memories. It's where you check in with each other and the meal can make all the difference. And so with this book, every meal is super simple, quick and easy. That's the theme. The, some recipes take 15 minutes, some take 20, 30. Nothing is ever gonna be over an hour. And I started the beginning of the book with cocktails and snacks because I feel like you should always have a cocktail um, if, you're, if, you, if you drink if, and if you're over 21. Um, so I have the Jamaican Mama here that we're gonna make in a minute. Um, we've got our playlist on, let's get started. Let's get started. Let's get started. <laughs> okay, so earlier in my stories, I told you guys to have your lobster ready. Here it is, if you want a little recap. Um, I prefer to take it out of the shell first um, and then just give it a quick one to two minute steam in the pot um, so it's nice and juicy and tender and ready to go and you save yourself some time, honestly. Again, the theme of the book. You're saving yourself time because if you were to steam it in the shell, you'd have to wait for them to cool because the shell's gonna be hot and so this just makes it easier. And so my hands are clean, I wash them. So I like to cut it into bite-sized pieces like that, if you can see, and it's ready to go here in its natural form in the bowl. So I'm gonna transfer it to a bigger bowl because we're gonna add in some goodness. No, 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 we're not gonna mix it all together. Although, if you wanted to mix the lobster, crab, and shrimp together, I don't see why you couldn't. I think it, it would be delicious. It looks delicious. 
right? Yeah. So the key to things running smoothly, in my opinion, when you're cooking, is to have everything nice on plus out. And that just means everything in its place. Oh, honey, no. That just means everything in its place. Um, <laughs> everything in its place. Um, it, I promise you it makes the meal run so much smoother, especially when there are little hands around and little bodies around that are hungry and ready to go. I'm telling you, mise en place. Um, I'll probably have Stefan come in and like look at the comments to, so that he can feed me some questions so I can answer some of your questions through this process. I think that would be fun too. If anybody has a question about the book. Um, but let's jump right in. So here's what we're doing. Oh, you have the comments. Oh, that's right. You have the comments on. He's watching on his phone. Um, so there you go. Watch. It's going to come together in a flash. So first we're going to chop up an apple. And we're going to chop up the celery. Oh, I love celery. Yes. Do you want to? Here, let's just put this back here. I love celery. You said what? <laughs> you know what? Let me turn down the music just a little bit. better. All right, so we're gonna chop up our celery. Mama. What did you say, Stefan? You wanna address how inspirational you are right now? <laughs> you know what? I'm not messing with you. Mama. Yes. Can we have some no, because we don't have your kids knife out here. We can have these right here. No, the no, no, knife. no, the butter knife. No, not this time, okay? But I will let you, why don't you help me garnish? You can put the seasoning into yeah. the mixture once we get there. Yeah. But again, just chopping up Some our celery. You can watch the technique how she's doing it. What did you say? You can also watch the technique how she's doing it. The technique? Yeah. There's not much technique to this. I will say when, when I'm holding a knife, typically I use a chef's knife. We're uh, cur not currently um, at our home, and so I don't have all of my... I don't have all of my tools that I traditionally use, so this is the knife that was here, so this is what I'm using. But, so you don't cut your fingers off. I really do recommend holding the knife with your index and your thumb right there on the top of the blade to give you a steady hand. Just, just, just what I like to do. Instead of just holding it by the handle, I find you don't get as good of a, a, a handle on, on what you're chopping, so. All right, so I'm just gonna proceed. See? I like that. One. Proceed. <laughs> we can't see you, Mama. You can come over here. Okay. So, girls, you remember what I was creating the cookbook, right? Yeah. What would you say was your favorite thing that I've made so far from this this cookbook? Um, what would you the say? Pasta. The pasta. I mean, Which pasta? Um, uh, oh, I know, I know which one. What? Which I one? like the pasta, the red pasta. I like that one. The roasted red pepper pasta. Okay, yeah, that's a winner. Roasted red pepper uh, pasta instead of your traditional like red sauce. Lasagna. We use roasted red peppers from the I, jar. It's I, great. I love, I love, I love the one you, that you made. Lasagna? There's no yeah. lasagna in this book. <laughs> I know. But I'm glad you like lasagna. I love it. Ryan is definitely our adventurous eater. I'm surprised she's and lasagna. I like and I like she loves her some oysters. So as you chop, just put everything in the bowl. It's all gonna mix together. I have an apple here. I like to leave a green apple, very important. Um, I feel like the acidity is a little bit higher. They're firmer, more crunchy, and you want that little bit of tang because we're actually not gonna put lemon juice in this. So the acidity from this apple is gonna take care of it all. So I'm just gonna chop this. Boom. What I love to, I think if somebody asks like, what's your style of cooking? I would say relaxed. Um, I like for things to be somewhat easy. What's your dish called? What's my dish called? Yeah, what, what are we Caribbean doing? lobster rolls. Caribbean lobster rolls, I heard Caribbean that. Caribbean lobster rolls. Mm. You see Stefan's braid up? Do you guys like his new style, his braids? I love him with some braids. You can like see the tip of his braids right here. Like Just. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna chop up our apple. 
This is gonna get a bit of a This is gonna give it a nice crunch. I do that all the time. Here you go. I do that all the time. Get ahead of the game because I know they're gonna ask. So into the bowl it goes. Mommy, yes. You thank you, Riley. Thank you very much. Mama. So again, just chopping Mama. up our apple, yes. And the first like um the first page of the book. Hmm? hmm? Like the one that like is hard and it's like um what what are your faces on it? <laughs> the hair is on it. The nose and the oh, oh, thank you, and, thank you. And I love the Ryan, Ryan's also our love bug. Yes. Riley is adventurous, just in life. Yeah. And I would say you're extremely smart and kind. You've been such a great big sister to your sister and brother lately, so. All right, so in goes the apple. Yes, baby, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Yeah, so just I'm chopping sure. up the apple. Just one apple. Again, we want that little bit of sweetness, a little bit of crunch. Um, honestly, in my opinion, this is the most difficult part of making this dish is chopping everything up. It's all downhill. It's all up. <laughs> Wait, how do, you, how do you say that? No, it's all gravy from here. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I like the noise that I'm talking you like the noise? I know. You hear the it's crunch? It's, it's so it's crunchy. All right, so in goes the apple. I'm just going to set this here. You guys can eat this if you want. Oh, yeah, here, yeah, two yeah, for yeah. you. Two for two me. Two for you. All right, um, now we're going to start layering in that flavor. So the apples make it healthy. One apple a day yes. the doctor. <laughs> you got to say it louder. What did you say? Uh, the apples apple make, make it healthy, healthy because one apple a day keeps What'd you the doing, doctor away. Spelling, spelling Caribbean wrong. Oh, listen, no, I'm not, I am No, I spelled it with a J. I don't know why I can't type. You spelled it with a J. He's here I can't replying type. to your comments and spelling things wrong. <laughs> I appreciate you, but. Mama? Auto, that autocorrect. All right, so a quarter cup of mayonnaise. If you're doing it the vegan way with the mushrooms or the jackfruit, quarter cup of your veginase or whatever alternative you're using right there in the bowl. See, this is where it gets good. So we have our curry powder. This is where the island comes in. This is where you, this is where the playlist originated, right? So we put the curry powder in there. I, I personally have never had um, a lobster roll with curry in it. And so I said, hey, that girl, you are chewing away. I said, hey, that would be fun. So, well, I did try something new when I created this dish for the book. Um, and we fell in love with it, Wait, so. I have a, a little salt. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Yes. Do you like to come up with these recipes? Like, I do. Just throw in things and then like see if it tastes good and then you like make it into a dish with a new. Yeah, I feel dish. like most times, sometimes, well, when we were able to just go into the grocery store and do what we want, I would go in and see what looked yummy and fresh and kind of get my inspiration from there. Um, but now I kind of, or the way I did this was I, I did it a, a bit nostalgic. So I would think of a moment that made me really happy and that I wanted to keep the memory of it alive. And almost always when I do that, it takes me back to a dish. So most of these recipes um, are influenced by moments. Does that make sense? I yeah. like yes, child. Yeah, some childhood, some adult. Ryan, what's your question? Quarter teaspoon of onion powder. This is gonna be a curry. Calypso. It's what? What is it called? What is the what is the thing called? What? The best thing. Oh, the the dish you're making. Oh, Caribbean lobster roll. This is gonna be curry calibering. <laughs> lobster roll. Caribbean calibering lobster roll. <laughs> okay. Oh, my best friend and my god baby just got here and I'm so happy! <laughs> and there they go. So, um, garlic powder, onion powder, some black pepper. I'm going to take the top off of this because it's just easier that way. Do, 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 do. In it goes. And then we are going to mix this together and see where we land. Sometimes depending um, on 
how much lobster was in those shells. You might need to add a little bit more mayo. Um, it just depends. So oh, eyeball it. So good. Doesn't that look good? It looks like, um, it looks like salad. <laughs> it pretty much is like a seafood salad that you put into a bun. Put a little bit more curry. Yes, baby. Yummy! I just want to eat it now. Always when you like cook me, I want to see like a sizzling noise. Oh, I know. Well, we're gonna toast some buns in a second, so there'll be a little sizzle. Okay, this looks great. I'm gonna just taste it. You always want to taste once you feel like you're done with a clean spoon and just check for. Mommy, can I taste it? <laughs> and just check for uh, salt content if you need to add more salt. Can I taste it? Hmm? Can I taste it? Yeah, sure. Can I taste it, Mommy? I want to taste it. How's it looking? Mm. I want to You want to taste it? it? Okay, one mm. second. I wanna Good? Mmm. Yeah. Mm. Fire. You want to taste it? You ready? Give me your hand. This is good. <laughs> Why are you scared? This is good. Mmm. Okay, mm. I don't need to add any more salt or anything. This is gonna go in the fridge and chill while we make the cocktail. It's that easy, you guys. It's that easy. It's the yummiest thing in the world. In the fridge? I love you. In the fridge? In the so freezer? Um, she's been chewing this whole time. In First the was apple. In the, in the fridge, please. Actually, you know what? Since we're gonna, since it's not gonna sit for a long time, you can actually pop it into the freezer. It'll chill faster. Um, put some of this in the sink. And then we are going to, <laughs> I'm going to set this aside Mama. for when we uh, garnish after. So let's talk buns. Talk buns. Really quick. Um, you can literally use any type of bread um, and put the, the lobster crab or shrimp mixture in. Yes. So we call for, so we call for hot dog buns, just your traditional hot dog buns. They, they now sell, a lot of places, the top open buns um, that are traditionally used for lobster rolls. If you can't find those, you can do what we're doing. I uh, found this gorgeous bread right here that I want to use because I want to do jumbo. And one even You could use burger buns if you want and do it sandwich style. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh. So we're gonna um, slice off the top here so that it gets, when we put the butter on it and sear it in the mm. skillet, it gets nice and golden brown and delicious and slice it down the center. So we'll get to that. But let's move on to the cocktail. Girls, I am going to swap you out. I will make you a mocktail. Um, but yes, let's swap you out while like you can go, you can go um, sit right here and watch me from over here. I love you guys. Okay, all right. Love you guys. Adios. Okay. <laughs> all right. So again, I have mine right here. I just need to swap out these lobster roll ingredients because my my iPhone's on a tripod. And I didn't want to move around too much. Again, we're not at our home right now. Um, so I don't even have a cocktail shaker, which I actually thought was great because there's a lot of people that just don't have a cocktail shaker. So we're going to be using solo cups. It is what it is. All right. So for this cocktail, it's a Jamaican mama. So it just reminds me of Jamaica. It just tastes like rum punch. And everybody does their rum punch different. In the book, I actually have two different versions of punch. So we have this Jamaican mama that's more of like a traditional rum punch. And then we have the island punch that's a little bit, uh, there's more ingredients in it. And you that's the drink that you make in book. But today we're just doing this and it's gonna be so good. Um, Tell your people to send in specific questions. Okay. Um, Stefan said, you guys send in specific questions if you want them answered and he'll throw them my I'll way try. and I'll he'll try. try to throw them my way so I can answer them. Um, hope you guys are enjoying this right now. Let's do this. All right. So you say what? I like your sweatshirt. Red Solo Cup. Um, you like my what? I like your sweatshirt. Thank you. My Jimi Hendrix. Thank you. I did my, uh. I tried to be fun with my makeup today. Mama, Had a little fun. Mommy, um, yes. Thank you. You helped me. 
Yeah, in the bathroom. Remember, you told me use that one. Use this one. I didn't get to pick the lipstick color. I know you didn't get to pick the lipstick, but you picked the the shadow. So I did. Yes. That's why I to make a virgin version. So I I actually think I wasn't planning on uh, doing that on the live, but I actually think I might go ahead and make uh, a mocktail version after we make this grown up version um, to show you guys another substitution because I'm all about it. So. We have two ounces of rum. Any rum you like. Three banana. I count bananas, so one banana, two banana, three banana is <laughs> typically appropriate. We have one ounce of cognac. I'm using Henny. We have a half an ounce of grenadine. Any grenadine you like. Right in there. Yeah, I've gotten good at eyeballing uh, over the years. Um, if you're a newbie cocktail maker, I would recommend measuring, using a measuring cup um, or um, a cocktail measure just to keep it on the safe side. Then we have, oh, I was like, where did it go? Our orange juice, two ounces of orange juice. And then we have the juice of one lime. People, a, a lot of times will use a juicer, um, you know, the, the hand one that you squeeze, but with limes, honestly, they don't have uh, seeds in them. So I like to just squeeze right into the cocktail shaker, in this case, the Solo Cup, just like that. And typically a lime gives you about an ounce of, uh, of lime juice, which is what we want here. So there's your lime. Mommy. Then we have Can one. Look at this? Sure. Then we have a couple dashes of bitters. This is just a little essence. It just adds depth to the cocktail. I always have this on hand for pantry staples or bar staples. I would recommend getting some of this bitters. Um, I even will make simple syrups sometimes um, and put this in there to, to switch it up a little bit. So we have our bitters. And then the recipe in the book calls for freshly grated cinnamon on the top of the cocktail. We don't have a grater here, so I'm just gonna be dashing a little bit of cinnamon on the top um, once we mix this up. So I'm gonna grab some ice really quick. What's the uh, longest recipe time-wise? In, in the book? Really and truly, the longest recipe in the book, so when you don't have a cocktail shaker, you just do, you just do this. <laughs> and it works, okay? I've got my glass here, pour it right in. Oh, it looks so good. All right, let me wipe this. Special. You said it looks special? Yeah. Thanks, Chukas. They might, if it's one thing about my kids, they stay gassing me for sure. Right. So a dash of cinnamon, just right there on the top. Ooh. Cute, Bonsy. right? I'll put some cinnamon on your mocktail. Bonsie. And then there's that. And that is the Jamaican mama, you guys. I'm gonna give this to my bestie, Share Bear. Come get your cocktail. Order up. No, you don't have to come on the camera. <laughs> you gotta say why going. Thank you. Hi, people. Let's see. <laughs> oh. Choo Choo, you want this one? Yeah. You want it in the solo cup? All right, are there any more questions um, as of yet? What's the temperature the oven should be on for the bread? No, so the, the bread is not being done in the oven. We are actually gonna move over to the stove and just quickly toast them up, you guys. It's gonna be great, it's gonna happen fast, and then we're gonna take that uh, lobster mixture out of the fridge and load them up and garnish them, and then we'll be done. So, <laughs> my, bootleg, my bootleg janky setup, I'm gonna move the whole tripod. Just like so. Yes, baby. Oh, yes, that's right. Oh, my goodness. What? The girls just reminded me. Oh, why is this open? The girls just reminded me that I need to make their mocktail. Wow, mom. All right, mocktail. So we'll use the grenadine. We'll use the orange juice. It's mommy. And this is actually something that I drank a ton growing up as a kid. Mommy. Yes, baby. Grenadine is not a grown-up drink. Grenadine? No. So no. grenadine, <laughs> grenadine is like a, it's like a fruit flavored syrup. It looks like, yeah. It looks like, um, 
kind of candy. So you know like Shirley Temples? Yeah. How sometimes you guys get to have Shirley Temples? Mm -hmm. It's grenadine and lemon lime soda. Oh. That's what that is. Got half a lime I'm gonna do. I love this, I love that it's on the fly. So let's go. So we actually do have some lemon li lemon lime soda, so I'm just gonna use a little That's bit. Lemon yeah, I'm just gonna use a little bit in the cup here. And then in here, I'm gonna do a splash of orange juice. Did you guys have, drink something like this growing up as a kid? I feel like it's pretty universal, like where you just mix what's in the fridge and then you have a little drink. We'll do the half an ounce of grenadine. Kids will love the fun color. The lime juice. You can still put that tiny bit of bitters in there. I think one thing with the way that I cook is like I don't like I don't like making substitutions for you guys, right? So typically they just eat whatever we're eating for dinner and it's been that way since they started eating solids from time. From time. Uh, it's been that way since they started eating solid. So like if we were having, I don't know, well, not steak. You didn't start out with uh, proteins. Yeah, rice. You blend up the rice and you add in any seasonings that you're cooking with in the meal. And I would give it to them from the time they were a baby. And I really think it has something to do with why they, they're not that picky uh, of eaters. Could be wrong, but I really think... That's part of it. So we'll mix that with the lemon lime soda. We'll put a little ice. You want to give me some ice? Yeah. Yeah. Let me get you guys a cup. Wait, this is my hand? Mm -hmm. in my hand? Here. Little kitty drinks. Mama? Yes, baby. Oh, we're back. Okay. There's also um, in the book, in the cocktail section of the book, there's a ton of substitutions. Uh, with some of the recipes in there on how to make, turn them into a mocktail. Some are easy as just omitting the alcohol and then some have uh, alternate options. So we're just gonna pour that over the remember, ice. Look at that. I remember once you made us like that mocktail that had it. that little fruit in it. What's that fruit called? You guys are gonna love this. Here you go. What's that fruit called again? Tell me what you think. Here I am. Oh. Love you. Oh, All right, her. moving the camera. Chooch, you know what? You might have to, you might have to hold this for me because I don't think it's gonna reach. Is it gonna reach? Where? Yes, it's gonna reach. Hold, please. Let's move to the stove. All right. These weird voices. I. Oh my gosh! In my story, is always some weird voice. Okay, so you guys, this is not a good angle. Like, oh my goodness. All right, there we go. Keep it together, Ish. Um, oh, I can unplug, we're charged. Okay, so I'm gonna move it. Where my light? Hold on, I like the light because it's cute. So I'm gonna turn my light back on. Do what it does. Wow, such a difference. Um, okay, so back to our lobster rolls. Back to our rolly rolls. I am going to take a knife and just slice the top off of these buns. First, I gotta give it an opening, just like so. I'm gonna use cast iron. Um, oh, that is a terrible angle. You guys can't see the stove. Um, I'm gonna use my cast iron skillet because I love the sear that it gives. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my skillet. We'll just put it on high so it gets it heats up pretty fast. I don't like this knife. Um, let's see what we got in here. Perfect. On your end, is the connection paused or is it working? Okay. So again, what'd you say? Jay Gaines said your tea is fire. My tea? Oh, my sweater. Thanks, Jay Gaines. Thank you so much. All right. So I'm just gonna cut the little bread tips off, and I'll show you what I mean by that just so it's flat like that, so we get a little pretty pretty seared top. Um, and that's just, I mean, you don't have to do it like that. You can honestly serve it as is, or you can just warm the rolls through so they're nice and warm and soft. But I like it this way. So, I'm gonna cut. We'll just do two Mama, for now. Wait, are we Mommy, I have a question. Still? 
Oh yeah, you're gonna eat this. Okay. Yeah. I'll do yours in the in the the hot dog style buns though. Okay. Mommy. Yes. I have a question. What is your question? I forgot. She I said, know. "What is it again?" I know. So unsalted butter. I'm just gonna take my knife. It's been sitting out, so it's nice and soft. So you don't get uh, ruin that beautiful bread. Put a nice amount on there like that. Again, I like to keep things easy. So, right, gorgeous. Don't do this at home. I have kitchen hands, so I'm used to it. It's not quite hot enough yet. So let's see if we have any more questions. Somebody said, love the reggae vibe in the background music. Yes, that is the whole premise of the evening because we're making the Caribbean lobster rolls. We have my version of Rum Punch with the Jamaican Mama. We made that playlist for y'all called Wine Down Friday. Um, Did you say so if you feel like busting a wine, you can bust a wine while you're cooking. I'm not gonna do that on this live, but I might do it after we're done. Um, what'd you say, Chooch? Did you say unsalted butter or salted? Unsalted butter, right? Because we've already seasoned our lobster mixture. Um, you don't want to go into too um, with too much salt. And people, people sometimes scoff at that, and they're like, "You can't have too much seasoning." But you can have too much salt. It is a thing. It can be overpowering. There's such thing as balance. And I feel like unsalted butter is the way to go with these buns. So my stove's hot. It's just gonna take a couple minutes. Yes, of course you can. This reminds me of your old cooking TV show. It what? This reminds me of your old cooking TV show. Oh, uh, Riley said it reminds her of the the cooking show, my Food Network show, from way back when. Um, but a lot faster, right? It's moving a lot quicker. You were so little. You guys are big now. They're eight and five, you guys, and Cannon's two. No, no. Pan, the pan crepes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mama. Yes, baby? Hey, Brian, do you have any questions? Yeah, I have a question. Remember? I have a question. I also oh, made guys, this is going to be. So, um, was, uh, when she, um, you got to speak loud so they can hear you. When you were in the show, was I in your belly? No, you weren't in my belly, but you were a baby, baby. You were like. Oh, like a year? Yeah. Riley, uh, Auntie Sadell asked, why do you sound like a teenager? She really does, <laughs> Sadell. She really does. She's, this girl, I'm she's gotten so responsible like the past month. I, I just need her to slow down. <laughs> All right, so again, you, you see, it's in real time, which I love. Um, and I'm just gonna show you, oh, it's so gorgeous. <laughs> okay. Check this one. This one's not moving as fast. Sort of an ad. That was a dramatic pause, by the way. Sort of an ad. But this is my 30 inch cast iron skillet, so it's a little bit bigger than the traditional one. And I love it because obviously it's bigger, but when I'm doing my pan steaks that I do a lot, I'm sure you guys have seen if you follow along with my food. Um, it fits four steaks in there perfectly, so everybody's meal can get done at the same time. No, no one we're in Canada after you show the buns. Wait, See that gorgeous color? I'm just going to set it in Canada. there four on the other steaks. side so it can get... Look at that gorgeous... Oh, baby. I'm going to cut the heat, and then the residual heat is going to warm the bun through to keep it soft and nice. Time to get the lobster mixture out of the fridge because it's time to plate everything. We're gonna be done, you guys. It was crazy. Um, all right. I need more questions. I want to answer your questions, you guys. Mommy. Yes, baby. This looks delicious. It looks delicious. You're so sweet. Look at the color. Like, I know. Changed. I should show a close up so you guys see. It completely It did change, right? Wait, so the curry changed. powder. Another reason why you're putting the fridge is so that those flavors can, can mend. And so you'll see your color change a little bit over time. It's now like this yellowish tinge from the curry powder. So you know everything's nice and blended, delicious. And now it's time to assemble. Let me see here. I'm gonna get a big spoon. 
Um, so I don't call for garnish in the recipe um, in the book. You don't have to garnish it. I just think it's pretty. Um, and I do love like my herbs. So like sliced green onion works great. Um, flat leaf parsley we're using today works great. Or, oh man, these are so warm and oh, it's gonna be so, there you go with the noises again. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be so good, guys. Oh my gosh. Yes, I said what? You can definitely help me garnish, yeah. So we're, I'm just gonna load it up right, oh, right in there. Look at that, you guys. Easy peasy. And again, I always preface this in these lives, but if we weren't talking this through, right, it'd be done in like 10, 15 minutes. One, two minutes to steam the lobster if you have to cook it, unless you've found store-bought lobster. I mean, unless you've found um, pre-cooked lobster. Um, like what, two minutes to mix it all together? Two minutes to chop your apples and your celery, that's six minutes. I mean, guys, it would be done in a flash. And if you're using the crab meat or the bay shrimp that are pre-cooked, then it's even faster. So let's garnish this baby up. Oh, so looks just like the book. So pretty. Oh yeah, come, 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 come. Here, here's some for you. And so, yep, yeah, just sprinkle it on there, baby. Oh man. Like it? Oh, let your sister go. I feel like it's a we're family, on sugar rush. family thing. I feel like you, we're on sugar you gotta rush. speak loud. Wait, this I feel is like hilarious. We're on sugar rush, but like um, like a dinner Ooh. one, like a dinner one, and yeah, right it's there. Jamaican. Yes. You love that show, huh? Oh no. Oh, very nice. That was, that was a lot. All right, girls. This looks perfect. Let's show them how gorgeous. Oh! Sorry. I want to Let's show eat them it. how gorgeous our yummy toasted lobster roll. You know what else you can do that I really like to do? Let me just grab it out of the little drawer here. I think it's so yummy and brings in a little bit of the traditional side. Somebody asked, what are you using to garnish? I use flat leaf parsley today. Um, and I'm gonna sprinkle with a little bit of paprika just because I'm trying to impress you guys. What was, but, the, um, what was the garnish? Flat, Riley just asked that. Oh, sorry, I missed it. Flat leaf parsley, or you can use chopped green onions, scallions, I call them. Um, I did a little bit of paprika on there just to make it pretty. See that? And that's all there is to Mommy. it, you guys. Chooch, do you want to come taste this on Mommy. camera? Mommy. And give an honest review. Mama, can I taste some of it? A mukbang? No, mommy, we're not doing a mukbang. Mommy, can I see What is that? Something? Yes, yes. I'm gonna make you yours right now. But mommy, what's what? Can I Let me another spoon of that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna serve you some. Oh, see, yeah. she likes it, you guys. I <laughs> love it. <laughs> Dude, you wanna come try it? Okay. Wait, don't pull the cord. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Wait, what? You gotta come and describe what you're. What you're... <laughs> he said. You got mayonnaise. He said bite. You gotta come and describe what you're tasting. Heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. A little kick of, uh... We're back. Bye -bye. What is he saying? A nice little kick of what? The curry powder. Yes, that's from. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys! Here, choose. This is yours. Well, thank you. We'll yeah. Yep. Here. All right, guys. Well, wine down Friday. I'm ready to get off of here so I can turn up the volume uh -huh. and right, bust a wine for real. Put these girls to bed after they eat their lobster rolls. And maybe have another one of these. Thank you guys for hanging out with me for the past 45 minutes. I really appreciate it. Um, again, my cookbook. What's it called? What's it called? I don't know. <laughs> the full plate. The full plate. The full plate? Yes, I, I know that. Cut. Ryan, you I swear you cracked me up, girl. That was called the so the full plate. Is what? Is the Did you guys hear what she said? She said, I thought it was called the yummiest cook. See, they stay gassing me. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. So the full plate out on Tuesday, September 22nd. So this coming Tuesday. I'm so excited. That's a pinned comment by your boy. A pinned comment? Oh, thank you, too. She pinned a comment. Oh, thank you. I didn't see it there. Um, so many easy recipes like this. 
Some, a lot of them are even easier than this. Um, but again, the whole goal, let's get the meal on the table so we can create moments. Um, and you can create moments too while you're cooking the meal, right? Make it fun, involve your kids, let them have a hand in making the food. They will most likely be more willing to try new things. Um, and yeah, pre-order it so you can get it on the actual day it comes out and so you don't have to go into the store. I want everybody to stay safe um, and COVID free. So with that, happy Friday. Enjoy your evenings. It's just starting to be evening in the Bay Area or in the West Co on the West Coast. Um, and again, thank you guys so much. Until next time, I think I'll do one more of these in a couple of days. Um, but yeah, let's do this. Bye. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye. <laughs>